Hello friends. If you watch many of my videos, you'll know that this little case knife, copper lock, in a warm cliff pattern, is one of my favorite knives of all time. And today, I'm going to be revealing another case knife that I recently bought off of eBay. I'll be unboxing that and showing you uh, what I think might be possibly a runner-up to this copper lock. But before we do, please take a moment to subscribe and like the channel. It's what keeps the channel going. Thank you. So this knife here, this is what they call the Pocket Worn Harvest Orange Bone Corn and Cob Jig Copper Lock number 07397. Yeah, one heck of a name. That's how case knives do it. They describe the, the pattern of the knife, the, the pattern of the scale, the color, all that. And yes, sir, this is a fingerprint magnet for sure. But it's a beautiful knife, and I don't mind taking a little TLC on it. Here's the box it came in. And here's the excellent, if you want to read the label. So you might ask yourself, you know, what's the guy that's always talking about spider codes and ZTs and bench mates, three and a half inch EDC knives with uh, of all the modern blade steels? What's he talking about? A case knife? That's an older man's knife, isn't it? Well, I've been around for a while, and back in the late 70s and early 80s, my parents would ship me and my sister off to North Carolina, up by the Cherokee Indian Reservation, and uh, we would go tubing and the uh, the rivers up there and then we would go over to the Indian Reservation and visit all the gift shops and uh, there was just a million of them and we'd walk up and down the, the gift shops and believe it or not they actually had chickens out front that you could play tic-tac-toe with so we'd uh, we'd do that but the biggest thing would be is you know my parents always gave me a little spending money and I'd take my crisp new $20 bill and my granddad was very patient and we'd walk up and down both sides of the mile long stretch of gift shops looking at all the the case knives displays and the shred knives displays and there was there was miles of them let me tell you and every store had uh different knives back then and we would take all day and i'd finally pick a knife out and purchase it put my twenty dollars down and and usually it was a knife similar to this one here. I always liked the two or three bladed knives because what we would do is we would go out and purchase these little wooden bear carving kits. And uh, man, those things were, were tough to carve. But I could take my granddad's Arkansas's whetstone and sharpen all three blades and that would give me plenty of whittle time before I had to sharpen it again. You know, I'd work my way through the three blades, uh, shaping the bear, and um, then I'd go back and sharpen the knife and come back and whittle into all three blades or dull again. But the purpose of the story is most of the knives I bought were case knives. Uh, they were the best looking knives, and I, and I just fond of those memories and that's why I'm so fond of this copper lock and and I'm excited to get back into the case knife collecting now this is the permission orange sod buster peach jig um, stainless steel true sharp blade it's supposed to be a hard carbon content stainless steel blade let's see what we got here oh yeah Everybody knows I love orange knives too. Let's see. It was, I thought it sounded like something hard was in the box, but it's just this paperwork. Yeah. Nothing there. Okay, so look at this bad boy. It is gorgeous. Look how shiny that is. And uh, not only is it orange, it's got a, a, just a, a little bit of a, um, a tint on there right there. Look at that. Is that gorgeous or what? You know, some people like watches. Some people like bracelets. My bling is a is a nice knife in the pocket. It's a lot cheaper than watches and bracelets too. But um, 
I just like the fact that you can do something, you know, have something shiny on you. You can pull out and show off, but, you know, it'll cut your steak or trim your fingernail at the same time, open a letter, whatever you need to do. Yeah, this is a definite keeper, and and it's not the exact same pattern as the uh, copper lock, but, man, it's beautiful. I don't know if you saw the thumbnail starting out, but that was a... Uh, large copper lock with a traditional blade that had the shotgun shell XX on it and somebody took that one from me a while back and um, that just made me sick I've been trying to buy it on eBay and everything can't find one when I find one I know I'm gonna probably pay dearly for it because I think it was a shot show exclusive um, that's the way case knives are you know if you see one you like you better grab it because they don't keep making it. That's what makes them collectible. This one definitely going to be collectible down the, the road. And it's definitely a finger print magnet as well. Look at the, the pins. It's got the three big pins and it's got these two small ones. Here you can see on the other side as well. Not really sure what those... Uh, those other pins do. You can see them inside there. Now this isn't a lock blade. This is just a traditional, I guess what you call it, a slip joint blade. But you can hear that, um, you can hear how uh, it clicks, right? It, you hear that? Yeah, that's, uh, you know, it just makes it feel quality. This one here's got the lock back, the copper lock does. It's not as loud. I mean, it still has that same feel. That if, you know, just really locks into place. But that, uh, that sod buster's a lot, a lot crisper. I think this, uh, the copper lock with the Warncliffe blade. I bought that Father's Day. There was, uh, I stopped at about five different. Uh, Ace Hardware stores and uh, tractor supply stores from Miami to Tampa and finally found one in Wachula that actually had some case knives on display uh, that were worth a crap and I, uh, I bought one I bought two and I laid them out in front of my dad and he picked the one he wanted and the one he didn't want was this this copper lock which made me happy because I really liked the orange color on it well, friends, that's going to pretty much wrap it up here for this little case knife video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. Like I said, uh, that's what helps keep the channel going and the content coming. Um, other than that, thanks again for viewing, and you have a good one. Bye.